The property we're shed hunting today has the perfect seclusion and bedding to make it a paradise for mature bucks seeking freedom from human intrusion. But we lack one critical piece of the puzzle, and that's food. There are winter wheat fields for miles upon miles in the broader area, but since neither Peyton nor I have any equipment to work our ground, and with no way to ensure we will have this lease in the long term, we usually end up planning nothing. This isn't a huge deal as we run corn several months of the year and try only to step foot on the property a few times throughout the season. And with a bunch of dense cover, I believe that's why so many bucks call this place home. This does make it tough for shed hunting when most of the bucks leave the area late winter for a more sustainable food source. The thing that keeps us coming back year after year is the huge number of mature bucks we've been able to take with a bow over just the last three years. Each one of these break in the five and a half year old mark, and several being seven and a half years old plus. Although it doesn't make for great shed hunting, it truly makes for a special place to hunt. I just found that side. That's a decent shed there. He's a funky looking one. What do you think of this one? What's up? Ah! <laughs> All right guys, we're out here on the lease and it's officially the time for the shed mission for not only the bucks we had on the lease, but for the refrigerator. I shot him high. Well, I hit him high. I think I hit him too high. and for paddles. Peyton's with me? It's time to find them. Do, do you think, <clears throat> so Peyton shot two bucks in here last year. There's a possibility that we find both of them. <laughs> what do you think odds are finding one or two? I think it's pretty high that we find one. I think it's pretty slim that we find both, but I think we're still gonna find both. High, that, high that, optimism over here. That is what you need. That is what you need. So we had a really good year in here. We shot three bucks in here and we just gotta find the other two and it'll be a fantastic year. So it's March 22nd. It's colder than a witch's tit this morning, but it's time to find some bucks. Let's go. You know, this one fooled us. We tracked all these vertebrae and stuff in here and it thought we were about to walk up on the refrigerator. Here we are on a doe. Shed number one, always seem to do that. It's a decent buck. A little, uh, probably a two year old, but hey, I'll take it. All right, that ain't nothing big, but got us another one. I'll take that right there. I got my handy dandy shed harness. I always tell myself that I'm gonna bring a backpack, but I never find enough to need a backpack. Maybe today will be one of the days I do. It was a big old boulder at one point. Seems to be an old shed, but it's kind of buried. Let's see what we got here. That ain't a bad one. Well, literally almost stepped on the best shed of the day. That is a nice buck. That does not look I don't know how old that is. Peyton just found a really nice side across the way, and then I just found that side. That is a, now that's a nice buck. That's more of what we're looking for. Heck, 
maybe that side Peyton found found is the is the match set. Who knows? That was awesome though. That is a hell of a shed. At least for me, I'm an amateur shed hunter. So that was sick. Found two decent ones. Was walking something caught something out of the corner of my eye and he's a few years old but that's a decent shed there. He's a funky looking one. Cool shed. Super cool shed. Wish's match set was right here around here somewhere, but we'll see. I did want to mention one of the things that I find a ton of success with shed hunting is just finding these little shelter belts or these little strips of timber that separate multiple fields. Um, really just great travel corridors for deer, but um, where we're at here in Oklahoma, it's a lot of Osage orange, it's a lot of hackberry, uh, there's a lot of different things, um, honey locusts in these, and there's a ton, you can see, there's a ton of like really low hanging branches, and in my mind, that's just more stuff to knock an antler off on, so... That's just one thing to consider when you're out here shed hunting. He's two years old, isn't he? But, Dude, but he's a cool deer. Um, he about 160. Dude, that's like that's got Mr. Next Year written all over it. That, that's the exact same flyer point he has, isn't it? Though, like right Yeah, there? but it's it's not his. But no, but what you got yeah. there? Just a nice one, about like that. Dude, I think this is the same deer like one year apart i don't know it could be that does look fresher than this yeah i didn't realize that carol got a third buck in here what a shame well that's not how you want to find a a buck obviously a very young one but that ain't all that old that's a nice deadhead. Well, that ain't the deadhead we were looking for. Well, I made one last quick ditch effort before we get back to the truck. Found another one. It's not bad. Five and a deadhead, and then Peyton's got three. So, it's not bad for a quick morning. We're going to go eat some Mexican food and try to get out of here. And then come back and look for the refrigerator. No luck on either of those bucks so far, but we're still hopeful. Got a lot of daylight left. It's four o'clock. Oh, I was talking Western time. I'm out of my grumpy mood since we didn't find uh, paddles, since I got my nap. So now we're gonna go find the other guy shot. <laughs> What's the odds we find that one? Mm, he might not even be dead. So probably 100%. <laughs> Last time it was 99, now it's 100. Yeah. Look at that. I'm telling you. I don't even have enough hands to reach down and run this camera and have all these stroke cams and solar panels. Um, by the way, check out Exodus Outdoor Gear. Just released a uh, Lift 4K Ultra. Sweet camera. Use code HA4K for $50 off. But anyways, back to me. Found a little shed. Heck yeah, that's number six for the day. Strolling back to the truck, I'll take it. All right, that's a wrap on shed hunting. We didn't find either one of those bucks. It's about six o'clock. And it, yeah. <laughs> look at me. I was gonna say, there's no way you're taking this one seriously. I can't, I can't. Uh, we failed you guys. We didn't find either one of those bucks. We did find, uh, shoot. How many sheds did you find? Three, four? Yep, two. Nice. Two? Okay. 
So we found like eight sheds and a deadhead. Not a bad day. So I may or may not hit it tomorrow. Just depends what Jake's up to. But that's a wrap.